Hello YouTube. Figured I'd make a different kind of video here today. Um, I haven't had a video on this car in a while. Um, as you can see, it's getting near the end of its driving season here and <laughs> hasn't been run in a while. <laughs> uh, we've had some, a lot of rain and uh, a little bit of uh, light snow so far this year here in Pennsylvania. And uh, that kind of takes this out of commission. I'm hoping to find winter the storage for this car soon. I gotta try to figure something out. Uh, but as of the moment, uh, I try not to drive it in the rain a whole lot, um, just because I don't want it all tracking up under. And now that it's now that the snow is a possibility, I really don't drive it because of the salt. Um, but it's uh, it's been jeez. I'll be coming up on two weeks now that I haven't driven this car and the battery is dead. It drained the jump pack and I'm on the charger. Unfortunately, this charger doesn't have a jump start. And I can't quite get to the one that has the jump start feature, so I'm kind of just giving it some slow charge. Um, but for any of you that might not know, this is my 1983 Oldsmobile 98 Regency Brome. Just coming up on five years with this car, or I just passed five years with this car. There's my K5. It's in fairly good condition for the age. Get you down under there. There's a new gas tank that I just had to put in. you can see, or uh, hopefully you can see, it's pretty clean underneath. Uh, just under 70,000 miles. I bought it with 54, and I believe it's at 66. Oh, sorry, 68,000 original miles. Let's see if we can get that in here. There we go. Now, before anybody comments, if you see the radio, that is not the original dash panel for this car. That is out of a uh, mid-80s um, custom cruiser uh, that was already cut. Um, that's why I didn't feel bad cutting it. Um, I do have the original piece. It is unmolested and unharmed. I have the original radio unharmed. Um, you know, because I'm sure somebody would have a take offense to it. But it's the uh, 307 with the original uh, Rochester four barrel quadrajet. I got fancy and has an MSD cap on it. That's about it. Um, has a newer alternator. A uh, new radiator as of the last year. Uh, most of the belts have been replaced except for the AC belt. That's a different story. Uh, finding the right size belts and having people actually give you the right belts that are supposed to be in the packaging is a, a fun story. Uh, I did the valve cover on this side gasket, but it looks like it's starting to leak again. I had a heck of a time with it, with all these lines under here. I got to do the other side. Um, as far as modifications, it really doesn't have much. It's pretty original. Um, has, of course, replaced the spark plugs and wires. Um, has a K&N air filter in it, because why not? Uh, that uh, the, over, the coolant overflow jug over there is also not original. That is from another car at a junkyard. I got real lucky with that. Mine had a crack in it right where that uh, AC line goes across. Uh, the AC still does work, at least as of the summer it did. So it's, it's converted to R134, so I did up it. Uh, just gave it a few, a little bit more recharge and that came back to life. Uh, I should have a video, hopefully, it probably won't be until summer. I gotta do motor mounts on it. Um, and the uh, washer pump motor part of the wash, the windshield wipers has gone bad. Um, the sprayer pump, so I gotta do that. Um, other than that, new upper and lower radiator hoses 
which I highly recommend not using the original clamps as much as you want it to be factory. <laughs> that clamp right there is an example of that. Um, that popped off a couple of months ago now and blew my coolant out everywhere. So should put aftermarket <laughs> clamps on these, but try to keep it original, you know. This is a clutch fan on this car too, if you're wondering. She's not uh, much for power, but she gets around. She gets down the road. Of course, K5 has way more power. It's dirty. They are both dirty. Need a bath. Uh, not really much to talk about here. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this charged up and uh, get a fire up shot for you, hopefully. Uh, I'm trying to think the last time it ran, because with everything going on, I think I've driven it once since the K5 went down because it's been pretty much being put away because of the weather so we shall see Hopefully that wind noise doesn't bother you too much. It's a little warm today. I can't put this window down because the camera is on it. Missed my uh, sunroof to put the suction cup mount on. <laughs> it's weird having it hanging here on the window. Figured this way you can get some gas shots too. You know, for the age of the car, it still drives quite well. I mean, yeah, I've done a, a fair amount to the car in the time I've had it. Uh, but it's still, it. It likes to be driven, I can tell you that much. It doesn't like to sit. Oh. Um, now, if you watched any of the videos, either on uh, my brother's channel, uh, Blazer Guy 1983 or mine of this car uh, from when I got it, you'll know uh, it had transmission issues. Um, and I shouldn't say had, because it, it has. Um, it's had them since 54,000. Uh, hasn't gotten dramatically worse, um, but it definitely hasn't improved. Um, the problem exists once the transmission gets hot and it's this engagement into second gear. Um, you, can't, you can't just stay in it and accelerate, um, especially with any kind of hard acceleration because um, it won't it'll it'll kind of it'll shift but it won't shift it doesn't feel like it fully engages second gear uh, you can definitely tell it wants to go today um, it's hard to describe it's almost like a slip shift now if you accelerate and as you feel it and you get it to the point where it's about to shift and you lay back on the, on the accelerator a little bit, you kind of let out and allow it to, allow the RPM to drop and the torque to drop, it will shift into second gear without any issues. Um, it also does it when the vehicle is cold. Um, hence, you probably haven't even noticed it yet. Um, I'm used to it, so I don't notice it as much anymore. I know how to drive it to not, hopefully not hurt it. I mean, obviously it hasn't gotten worse. Uh, I mean, someday it would be nice to get a rebuild but it's a case of 
why fix what's not fully broken, per se. I don't drive the car enough to merit it. Um, And we're back at my local favorite car wash. It's nice because it's mostly always empty and open here. And you can just pull right in and get to business. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to washing. I guess to kind of finish off and sum up this video, we're back here again, my favorite spot. A little more private. And here she is. So five years of ownership. Been pretty good. Um, I mean, it has its issues. What car doesn't? And especially one is what, 37 years old. It's gonna have some problems along the way. But overall, it's been very reliable and very enjoyable and had a lot of good memories with it. Uh, those are some newer tires on it. I, I went up a little bit bigger this time around. Um, these are going to be, I think these are 225, 75, 15. Um, gives them a little bit it, it helps the ride a lot uh the bigger tires um if i was to do it again i honestly would probably step down to like a 235 65 if i could get something like that um i feel like that would be the better bet the wider tire handles a lot better rides a lot better a lot smoother um overall it's a great experience with those tires on there um big improvement um, it normally calls for a 215, 75, 15. Just that little bit of a difference really makes a world in these cars. Um, overall, like I said, it's been a great car. Um, really enjoy it. Um, it's nice to drive. It's very pleasurable. Doesn't have a whole lot of power, um, like everybody would tell you with these cars. Um, 
but it gets the job done. I mean, it gets you from A to B, and it floats you on a couch and doing it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, all in all, in the last couple years, I mean, other than like I already talked about the radiator, uh, it needed an alternator along the way. Um, early on, it needed that water pump. I did plugs, wires. Uh, it has a uh, all-new front end as far as like inner and outer tie rod center link and idler arm. Uh, new shocks, a couple sets of new shocks. These ones are currently the ones that are on here, are AC Delco ones, which honestly I I like them a lot more than the other ones that were on here, the Monroe's. They didn't last very long. Um, has a new new exhaust from the cat back, um, tailpipe being the older part. Uh, the muffler being in the middle of all that and then the center pipe uh, here is the newest uh, what else uh, front rotors and pads and wheel bearings um, the fuel tank it's got the original sending unit still works uh, it was in nice shape so I just left it alone uh, the tank had developed uh, a leak around the seams um, Brake lines, of course, those have been done along the way. Really not much. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, especially for a car that had sat for at least five to six years um, outside uh, before I got a hold of it and started working on it, and it didn't drive. It went over a little over a thousand miles in almost 10 years. So it's uh, going from 54 to 68 in you know, in the time that I've had it, the most miles it's probably been driven and probably the most consecutive inspections it's had since the, the 90s. <laughs> so, uh, consecutive in a way that it's been inspected every year. All in all though, like I said, it's been a great car. I enjoy it. Um, it's a great second car to have around. Um, I don't drive it a whole lot. A fair amount for what it is, but not a terrible amount, especially now that I have the K5. I I barely have driven it since. Um, which I'm sure will change come summer again uh, when I take it back out. Uh, we have the center lights here, which they don't look that great, but I tried to do something with them because they were cracking. Um, and this kind of hides it a little bit, although it didn't lay as well as I wanted. This is just white uh, Plasti Dip covering it, and I have white or multicolor LED behind it. They're right now set to white uh, that allow uh, this to light up again because this no longer works and you can't get these anymore. Um, it has conversions for LEDs in the front uh, because the original headlights were like candle lights. Uh, these I got off the, I think I got these off eBay. Um, they look original, which is what I like about them. Um, but if you look closely enough in there, you can see they have LED bulbs in there. Um, this one you can probably see too. It really helps at night. You can actually see the road, uh, which this car does drive a fair bit amount of time at night. The front end there. But for anybody that was interested, yeah, I still have it. It's still going. Uh, hopefully have it for another, at least another five years, if not more. Uh, definitely am working on trying to find a place to park it. Uh, definitely, definitely in the winter months. Because uh, it's, even though I do don't, you know, even though I do take good care of it and I don't let it uh, out in the salt, it's definitely starting to get aged from sitting in the sun, uh, which is very disappointing. rear bumper filler also I still need this side piece over here um, and I probably could do a better job of painting this but I was waiting to get the side piece and do it all at once um, I got this from the U pull it yard local to me I'll have a car believe it or not because uh, this one was completely gone chrome tip on it just for fun uh, this tail light over here has been replaced as of recent um, it started to crack and I had lost the logos out of both sides. The one I had had it, I kept it. It had fallen out and I was able to catch it. This one, I don't know where it went. Um, and you can't find these logos. Uh, so I got real fortunate in finding this taillight. Um, it's not perfect. 
but it doesn't have any major cracks like the other one did. Um, what I do need to do is find one for this side here because uh, you can see this one is starting to get age cracks down and through here. Um, but I do have the logo reattached to this side so that it now has both sides on it again. I really need to replace my classic Oldsmobile sticker too. It doesn't quite say classic Oldsmobile anymore. Uh, and the vinyl top is also going to get replaced here in the next few years. Um, hopefully I'm kind of holding off. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it myself because you can buy the entire thing for about 300 bucks. Um, I don't remember the website. I'll have to try to look it up. Uh, but you can buy this material and do it yourself. Once again, though, I need to have a garage to do that because I don't think this is going to be a single day project. Um, or I might just pay to get it done. Um, costs a little over $1,000 to get it done. I'm waiting to get it done, though, until hopefully I can find at least winter storage for it. Auto vlog. he's actually local to me as well. Um, he's more towards the city. I'm in the suburbs, but the city of Pittsburgh, that is. But yeah, that's my update. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like to see more, just let me know. Uh, please leave some comments below. Subscribe if you like. Um, there'll be more K5 videos and maybe some more videos of this, depending on how this one goes. I know these don't seem to catch on quite as much as K5 videos. Um, but, you know, it's these are getting less common. Uh, and I enjoy it. And it's something I'm going to be working on. I plan on doing some repair videos this summer on it. Um, like that washer pump. Uh, now that I have this GoPro, I'd like to use like the head mount or the chest mount and do a first person view of me doing the work. I think that'll be neat. If you like that idea, just let me know. All right. Thanks. Bye.